folks and welcome to our next episode of Technicational. Now today we're going to be reviewing the MBOT. Yes, this is something I wanted to get my hands on so badly. So the MBOT is a robotic robot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an educational robot meant for learning. So this robot is meant for children between the ages of 10 to 14, but I'm a grown ass man that still wants it. So, this is the Bluetooth version, and we have a volunteer coming up. This is Amoy Boswell, who is going to be assembling the MBOT, the blue version, the Bluetooth version, and we're going to see how easy it is to be assembled by a kid. So, let's go. So after assembling the MBOT, what is left? You have the remote control, the USB cable to program the robot, you have some leftover screws and nuts, you have a replacement gear for the wheels, if you break the gears you can fix it yourself, you have a screwdriver that came in the package and you also have a track that the robot can follow so that's all that is left out of the box with the MBOT so now that the MBOT is fully assembled it's time to program it and this is the part that I'm really looking forward to because the programming language used to program this bot is real simple so simple that even a 12 year old can do it so I'm going to see if that's true and we're going back to Amoy Boswell for this. Okay, so we're coming back to you to program it on a computer. Excited about that? Yes. Okay, all right. So here we are at the program that you'll be using to program the MBOT. Now the first thing you need to do is install the drivers so the program can work properly. So all you have to do is scroll down from here and click install Andrino drivers. And that's it. Self done, no problem. That's all. Just click next and install. After that, you need to upgrade the firmware on the board of the MBOT. Once this is done, you will be ready for programming. Okay. So after that, what you need to do is discover the Bluetooth device, which is the MBOT. Once you discover it, you will get a pop up message that gives you the serial code of the MBOT you're supposed to connect to. Once you are connected to the robot, now you can program the robot to do what you want. So it's a simple drag and drop to program the MBOT. All you do is just drag the command or the button you want to press, and then you look for the process that you want that button to activate and just place it at the lower end of the command. Now, you can go more in depth and adjust the speed at which commands are done, adjust all level of things and you can adjust which button you're going to press, but it's quite simple. Now, you have to populate and be sure to put each and every key you need before you run this process. Now to run this process, it's quite simple. You populate over the right and then you click this green flag to run it or the red flag, the red dot to stop it. Yo my youth, and what kind of rock this my youth? A robot rock. Bridging. You know some free that rap in the mind. Oh, I'm the man, stop moving. Oh. Oi. That is free free now. Now. Stop. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Yes, good times ahead. So, what do you think about the robot? Well, it has a lot of parts and it looks complicated, but it's very easy to do. Okay. Did it take you long to assemble? So we could have used the remote that came with the MBOT and give us all the features, but we wanted to learn programming. 
Anyhow, the MBOT is a magnificent educational tool. If you want to learn more, click the link below. Thanks for watching folks and please subscribe.